It is indeed a busy time of year for travel. Many families will be hitting the roads and the skies next week headed out for their their holiday destinations. Whether you're driving or flying, traveling with family, uh, it can be stressful. We all know that. Joining us now with some advice to hopefully alleviate that stress is local travel expert Erica Budd. Erica, good morning to you. Good morning. Your first suggestion uh, has to do with keeping your kids occupied during these uh, sometimes long trips. And, and is this is this beyond just Operation iPad Babysitter? Yes. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still rely on technology as well. But the point is, we can't always rely on that. I mean, you don't know if you're always going to have a way to charge it or something happens with technology, right? So my first recommendation is to make sure that every kid, every single child has their own toy bag and you give them categories like bring a book, bring, you know, bring an action figure, whatever they're into, give them a couple different options and have them pack it so you know what stuff they want to play with. But that way, if technology fails, they have something for the older kids, Mad Libs. Um, stuff like cards, stuff like that. Make sure every per kid on there has their own bag of goodies. Delays uh, and cancellations seem to be happening more and more often. If you've traveled lately, you of course know that, especially at the airport. Uh, what are some things you can do to make sure a delay or cancellation doesn't doesn't really ruin the whole trip? I mean, it, it can really set set the theme when everyone's gummed up and, and they're stressed out, and then you got a delay. It it can you know no seasonal pun intended, but kind of snowball, right? Yeah, but believe it or not, the most important thing you could do is how you as the adult, as the parent react to it. That's the most important thing because that's what's going to trickle down to your kids. So that's the best reminder is keep it together as much as you can because it'll trickle and feed your kids. But one way to help prevent you from stressing out when that happens is to think about a plan B and C before you get to the airport, before it happens. Think about everything that could go wrong so that when it does happen, you've already thought about it. You've already played the scenarios in your head and you're ready. The other thing is to make sure that you have the airline app on your phone. Not everybody does, but it's really important, not just for the ease of checking in, but it's also when something gets, when your plane gets canceled, that's usually one of the fastest ways to get the next flight out. So it'll help, again, to have that tool ready. Yeah, that is huge. Gate information, gate changes, et cetera. Great advice there. Finally, uh, if you do get stuck at the airport for some time, uh, what are some ways to pass the time? Now, I'm just a bachelor, so I grab a couple tall boys, but that's not probably <laughs> family friendly. True. Uh, what what um, did you and, advise? And again, I'm thinking of a lot of families, right? Right, right, right. Family, family, family friendly. friendly. Also, it's easier if they're entertained, right? Um, you want to be, if you're going to be delayed, you want to be at the airport. I mean, that's one that, that you have a lot more options at the airport. And so you have that toy bag, right? Pick a corner, go with that toy bag with your kid. But there are a lot of games you can play at the airport. So adults, you're easy. Go to the nearest bar. You're good. Read a book, whatever. But with kids and families, you can play I Spy. Remember, the, think of the games that you play in the, in the car, right? I Spy, the alphabet game, you know, when you're looking for all the different things that start with alphabet scavenger hunts. There are a lot of games you can play at the airport. Look up a few. A lot of people have done the research on Google it and they'll be able to tell you things to do at the airport. Same with the airplane. You're a little bit more limited, obviously, because you can't move, but there's a lot of games you can play on the airplane as well. So again, look them up and you'll be prepared when there's that de delay. Okay. Uh, is there any one bulletproof piece of advice that you give to parents who, I mean, they're already wary. It's like my mom was always pre-worried, pre-even worry time. Like she was worried that, what's your advice? I mean, it's the holidays, right? Loosen up. Yeah, I think my biggest advice is honestly just, it's gonna happen. I mean, unfortunately, especially with flights now, it's, it's even worse than it used to be. And I hate to say that, but just plan on it happening. And that way, you know, it's better to, to Unfortunately, plan for the worst so that you're already, your mindset's already there. You're already thinking, okay, if this happens, I'm good. We'll be okay. We'll make it. Just plan for it. it it's it's the best thing you could do because unfortunately, it's, there's a good chance it's going to happen. And you don't want to ruin your holidays. You don't want to ruin your family time. Make the most of it. You'll be fine. You'll get through it. Yes. Amen. Erica, great advice. Plan ahead. Travel expert Erica Budd, we appreciate your time.